Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. Joining me on the summit today is Coach Robert Wakefield, whose Mid America Christian Evangels just won the national championship in the NCCAA, coming away with a victory last week, 37 and 14. You finish up the season, but coach, most importantly, you win in the final game of the year and a national championship. Congratulations. Well, thank you, Joey. Like I said, it was a, a great year and uh, ended in a fantastic way. And- we're just happy to be where we are and uh, just give tribute to these young ladies the way they worked hard all year, and it it showed in the end. A victory over Concordia and Arbor, 3-2 the final score, and you do it in walk-off fashion with a suicide squeeze in the bottom of the seventh. Uh, Coach, I have to ask you, you know, I know that there are – times along the course of a game when you you want to manufacture some runs and maybe it's just not been that big offensive day but uh what are you thinking though at that point in the contest to just go ahead and go for it then in, in the seventh well and like i said joey it, we had not been too successful in extra innings this year we, i think we lost our last couple of games here late in the season in extra innings and everything and and like i said we uh, just Thought I'd try it, and then we gave Olivia one swing and everything, and she fouled it straight back. And like I said, she'd been hitting so well the whole season, the whole tournament and everything. But I thought, well, we're going to chance it and try to put it in right now. <laughs> well, it worked, and you come away with a victory, 3-2 again, the final over Concordia and Arbor. Uh, Coach, this is now the fifth season in the last seven full seasons in which your team has uh, put together wins of at least 30-plus over the course of the year. Uh, talk about that. It seems like that uh, the program not only is, is going the right direction, but there is a consistency there at Mid-America Christian. Well, and like I said, you know, it it starts with recruiting. Uh, you have to have the girls in the circle and, uh, Reagan has been with us for four years now and everything, and we're going to miss her. But, and then also we brought in Katie long at semester and she had been at OBU for the last two or three years. And, uh, and she was a big addition to our, our pitching staff. And without those two young ladies, uh, we wouldn't have been where we were at. Well, Coach, let's just go ahead. Let's talk about them for just a moment as they were both recently named first team All-America in the NCCAA. And you gave up only two runs over the course of the NCCAA tournament. You know, four games in the national round of the uh, National Christian Colleges Athletic Association, just in case anyone didn't know the NCCAA. Uh, 26 and two, that that was your your, uh, overall output over four games. Just those two runs, those in the championship game. But over the course of the season, uh, the two pitchers you mentioned with Reagan Martin, Katie Long, uh, both of them with ERA of less than two, the team ERA was 1.57. That's pretty impressive. That That's going to win you a ball game or two right there. Well, and I hate to say it, Joey, but that's what the, the game of softball is all about is the, the people in the circle. And if you, and like I said, when you got two, that, that really helps and everything. Cause you know, we play double headers every, every day and everything, but like I said, when you got two pitchers that can throw the way they, these two young ladies did, you got a chance to win every game. We're speaking now with Coach Robert Wakefield in his 10th season with Mid-America Christian uh, after a very successful career, at least to that point, a bunch of high school stops along the way, a couple of long stops, one including there in Plainview in in Ardmore, Oklahoma. You make the trip up I-35 and have spent the last decade now in South Oklahoma City. Coach, you were named also the NCCA National Coach of the Year for what you have done this season. Congratulations for that. Well, thank you, and like I said, as I tell people, if you stay in the sport and coach as long as I had, you know, <laughs> you get lucky every once in a while. <laughs> well, I talked about uh, the uh, the fact that Long and, and Martin both were named to the uh, All American team in NCCAA, and Kaylee Parcells was also a second teamer on that list. Talk about her season. Well, like I said, she's a young lady that. At the end of last year, when we the season was uh, ended abruptly, she was just starting to come on the scene, getting a few at bats here and there, and, and doing a lot of pinch running and everything. But this year, you know, Jessica Holt graduated and everything, and Kaylee stepped in, and like I said, she is a phenomenal young lady, and she kind of keeps our team alive and going, and she just, you know, she did it outstanding job that we had her at the one spot almost the whole season we had her early in the year at number nine but we switched her number one and nine around and uh, 
and it just paid off. And but like I said, you know, she had forty one stolen forty one stolen bases this year, and was just our spark plug offensively. You know, it's interesting sometimes, Coach, how that happens. Just uh, maybe just one adjustment, major or minor, in the lineup can make all the difference in the world uh, whenever you do it, beginning of the season or midway through. Right, and it, it does. You know, you just tweak here and there. And like I said, we had we moved three girls around. Her, Kaylee went to number one. McKaylee Allen went to number two spot. And then Kylie Stubbs went to nine. Ho, but like I said, when we are number one and number two, one of them had 41 and one had 36 stolen bases. And so that really generates pressure on the defense. And, you know, like I said, McKaylee Allen should have been on the all tournament team. And, but cause she had nine stolen bases and then she had the big home run. And, and then to me, she had the defensive play of the, of the year in the top, in the top of the eighth. So, but like I said, just tweak the lineup here and there to the best and hopefully it works out. And by the way, she did uh, also score the final run for you too. So <laughs> she's she definitely has her name stamped on this season. Well, and she does. McKaylee, you know, was our shortstop. And like I said, there you go, another young lady that hadn't got any experience going into this year because we had a senior playing shortstop last year. And But and she made a few errors. But like I said, and when it came to the crunch time, she got better every game. And, uh, and she just had a phenomenal uh, World Series. And, and like I said, She's probably even faster than Kaylee and everything, but like I said, she uh, we had her on third base at and and at the time, and Olivia, all she had to do is get it down, and we knew we were going to score. And by the way, I I want to go back just to uh, to correct something. I I believe I said seventh earlier. I was thinking late inning, but you, yeah, you guys uh, uh, did that in the eighth. So extra innings. Uh, that that's that's even more dramatic fashion to go ahead and and uh, win it with a walk off suicide squeeze. Coach, really quickly as we wrap up our time today, I I, I want to ask you. Then you look back on this season. Now you've had uh, you know a few days to be able to process, get some of the postseason accolades to come through, and uh, things along those lines. What do you look back at now? You've completed a decade and and uh, wrapped it up with a bow very nicely with a national championship. How do you see this year? Well, like I said, it was the kind of icing on the cake because, like I said, when I took over ten years ago, the program was not. You know, I hate to admit it wasn't wasn't very good. You know, we were they didn't do very well in the in the SAC conference, which is very tough and everything. Mm-hmm. But uh, the last couple of years, we we've, we've uh, you know represent ourselves very well you know we've been third place the last two years of course behind ocu and usao which is the top dogs in our conference oh they're tough (laughs) they're tough and everything and we even beat we can say this year that we were the only team that beat usao twice and but uh, like i said it's come a long ways and it's uh, it's just with the young ladies that we have recruited and done a great job on the field as well as off the field because academically that I take pride in that as more than I do the win sometimes because my job is to get them that piece of paper at the end of, the, when, of their four years. And uh, But like I said, it's come a long ways, and and I just t- give credit to my coaching staff, and, uh, Mickey Wade and Tim Wade this year. They did an outstanding job. And uh, But like I said, it, it's come a long ways, and I just appreciate what we did this year. It had, was icing on the cake for us, and uh, it was a great win with a great season behind us. Well, Coach, uh, you are appreciated, I'm, I'm sure, as well at uh, MACU for what you've done and winning a national championship and another banner there for uh, the folks up there. And I know I, I appreciate getting to visit with you this morning. Congratulations. A fantastic year culminated with a national championship for Mid-America Christian University. Coach Robert Wakefield, success to you then as you continue now into your second decade take it take a day or two off rest a little bit and get back out there and get ready for another year it's just right around the corner thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the summit well thank you joey i appreciate you and everything and enjoyed it and everything and just thank for the macu people out there that have supported us and uh, hopefully good things will keep continuing to happen for us